checking in. Today's episode is out to sea, catching barracuda and tuna. So catch it and cook it. Some beautiful barracuda dishes and a beautiful tuna dish. Welcome to Shotgun Chef. The first part of this hunting and cooking expedition starts right here in the Caribbean on the beautiful exotic island of St. Lucia. And I'm here with Captain Lolo on his beautiful fishing boat and he's taking us out. He's let me sit at the helm of his boat. This is a, a beautiful out to sea adventure. The skies are blue, the seas are calm. We're in the nice Caribbean ocean. Over to you, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this all my life. Thank you very much. Oh, from the time I left school, I went fishing, catching marlin, tunas, barracuda, uh, just name it. All different varieties of fish and I love it. And I don't think I want to go anywhere else, just fishing in the beautiful Caribbean. And we got the weather for it. How beautiful is that? Huh? So for the hunting and cooking gear that we need for this trip is nothing more simple and a nice good spinning rod and a strong reel and I'm going to use this steam basket to steam what we catch if we catch and just to give a bit of diversity in the cooking a good old-fashioned non-stick frying pan and a portable gas stove it's early morning the fish are hungry we haven't been out too long and the fish have started to bite look at the size of this baby and this size barracuda is perfect eating size so my friend barry here has netted the first catch and that is a nice big barracuda look at the size Good of that thing. Barracuda nice that one. well done mate and the rods are off again. My goodness, look at that people. Look at that. Pandemonium has just broken up. I wonder what's on the end of this line. Nice one. Keeping it tight. And this one is giving me a hell of a struggle. Right on this point. And here it is, a skipjack tuna. Look at that. These are greedy predators. They go for anything. There you go. Lunch. So that people was a good two catch, a nice barracuda from Barry and a tuna from myself. And we're off with no time to rest. It seems I've got one as well, the, li the lines are biting everyone. And another fight is on. Looks like another tuna. Tuna swim in large shoals, so it's not surprising that when one bites, they all go for it. There you go, another tuna. That's enough fishing for one day. Three is more than enough for lunch, and we are heading off to our secret beach. So Barry caught a barracuda. Barry the barracuda, how's that? Sorry, mate. So two uh, skipjack tuna. Not a bad day's fishing, is it? No, nope, not bad at all. All right, let's go and cook these babies. Okay, and go ahead and gut it. Now, what you do? You 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 stick the knife or the scissors right up the bottom. Right. Cutting all the way up to the top of the lip, round the fins, and what you do is pull the lip and the gills back all in one go. The guts and everything comes out all in one. And Barry's barracuda is flying off there. If he doesn't hurry up, he ain't getting no lunch at all. <laughs> Look at that one. Poor lad. All right, so there you go. <laughs> I just pulled it all in one go. All right, one go. Time to light the barbie nice and early. I'm going to fillet the fish, cutting off the head. Like so. Aligning my knife along the backbone so I get as much meat as possible without leaving any behind on the bones. And then along on the other side, keeping the knife running along the backbone as much as possible. Okay, time to cook and Barry's up first. He's making us a dish with his barracuda. What are you gonna make? I'm gonna pan fry it with some garlic, some turmeric, and just very simply pan fried and with a bit of blackened seasoning. Blackened seasoning, okay. Right, so you're using coconut oil, right? Lovely coconut oil. It's a very popular oil which is used all over the Caribbean. It has a really nice fragrance, especially if you're cooking with cinnamon and cloves and things like that, garlic and turmeric. The spice mixture Barry's using has got cinnamon and cloves and cardamom, allspice. Time to add the fish chilies onion powder, celery powder, and paprika. 
seasoned with a little bit of salt, as you can see in a very, very hot pan, hot oil, this dish is very, very simple. To make sure the skin is crispy, keep pouring the hot oil over the skin. There you go, mate. Wow, look at that. There you go, you caught it, you taste it. Lovely. I love Barry's sense of humor. I can't wait to see his reaction. Mm. I'm quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with that, are we? Yeah. That's very English, yeah. isn't it? I'm quite pleased with that, you know. Oh, it's always understated, isn't it? <laughs> you don't get pressure yeah. on that, though, do you? Bravo, people. <laughs> Rather pleased with that one, you know. A bit of gentle mockery <laughs> between the northerners and mm. the southerners. Nice one, mate. Nice, yeah. Well when you meet a new good friend like Barry, this is normal banter between the English. So I'm up next, and what I'm going to do is steam my tuna, and as... Uh, Earl said to me, these are sea grapes. I'm going to use this to put my tuna on in the steamer. So first things first, chopping my garlic. I want to roast them off in the coconut oil. Taking my time to chop my ingredients. Adding my seasoning peppers. These are Caribbean mini mild spice peppers. It doesn't matter if you chop them all on the same board. Chili peppers, some lemongrass. Lemongrass and fish, wow. Local red peppers. Now, going to put that all in the oil. As we are outdoors, there's no harm in using the same pot that Barry used. Adding some coconut oil. I tend to use a lot of coconut oil in most of my Caribbean cookery. Keep these vegetables moving, keep them tossing in the hot oil to bring out all the flavors. And you can just smell the aromas on these. And that's almost ready. So now it's time to cut my tuna and have my thing ready for the steamer. Okay, right. Sauteing these ingredients off really elevated those ingredients and those flavors to the next level. You can smell the turmeric, the cinnamon, everything. Anchovy oil. A little bit of Thai fish sauce. A long favorite of mine. Fresh limes. Limes or lemons and Thai fish sauce is a marriage in heaven together. Tangerine salt and a fraction of adding a nutty element. Sesame oil. Brings out the fragrance. And that, my friends, goes on the steamer for approximately 15 minutes. And while that's marinating, the barbecue fish. So I'm going to marinate the fish now first for the barbecue. And I'm going to use Caribbean lemons. Again, lemons, fish, barbecue, another favorite of mine. Garlic. The garlic brings out the flavor and it's very, very good for you. Mustard. Dijon mustard, another favorite of mine. Grapeseed oil. Adding another smooth, nutty layer to this dish. And I'm going to let that marinate for about 20 minutes and I'm just gonna pop it plain and simple on the barbecue. Okay, so marinating the fish like so. Mixing all these ingredients thoroughly together, and there's my lid. And now, that's it. I'm leaving it on the side. Let it rest, and we'll come back and barbecue this. Time to check the tuna fish. My tuna fish is ready. Come on over, Barry, and let's have a taste. Wow. Oh. Wow, the colors on that. Eat it with some of those spices. Mmm. Oh. Uh, you taste the citrus, mm. the cinnamon, the turmeric, the garlic. Wow, I really like that. Not That's bad. tasty, that is. Not bad at all. Very simple, not over spice. Lovely. And now it's time to put this on the barbie. The cinders are very low, so this is going to really bring out the flavor of the almond into the fish. And we leave that for a good 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes on each side. We'll see as it goes along the barbecue. Cinders are very low, slow and low. I'm using almond wood for the barbecue to get a nice nutty almond flavor with this. Make sure you flip the fish on either side to get an even cooking temperature throughout. The last dish is ready. That's not a cigarette, I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> All right. I've acquired some uh, gentlemen friends on the beach with me and we're all going to try this fish together. 
nice barbecue oh charcoal flavor. You get a scent from the seaweed. Seems these boys are hungry. Came along for lunch, as it seems to me. There you go, Bob. <laughs> In any case, happy to feed anyone that looks hungry. How's that? Yeah, I yeah. doubt he would say it was terrible anyway, but here goes. It's all right. The other boys like it. It's all right. Nice to it see. Good. Yeah. Well, getting a second bite, so it can't be that bad. All right, folks. That's been a great day out. Had a nice catch, a nice day out on the beach. Where you that? Yeah. Yeah, right out there. And now it's time for a sea bath, as they say in the Caribbean, or in English terms, a skinny dip in my knickknacks. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I hope you like that. Please subscribe by clicking here, right here, there, that's it. Yep, that's the one. And send me some notes below. I'll try to recreate any dish that you ask. Press like and share away, people. Thank you.